Mark Twain once said, We may not pay Satan reverence, for that would be indiscreet, but we can at least respect his talents. Let's give the devil his due tonight on Deep Fat Fry. No malarkey, Jack. Back in my day, we didn't have any entertainment at all, except for the old Scranton Village Elder. He only had two teeth. But that guy had a million stories. I ain't joking, fat. We'd sit in the cold every night to hear him tell the tale of the cat he ate once. Nowadays, what with the mobile pages and the web phones and Netscapes and whatnot, it's hard to figure out what even to watch. Most days I'll just surf AOL. Lost, Jack. How do I click off the page? Why are there so many browsers open? It's all too goddamn much if you ask me. Now listen, fat. I've got your solution. It's called the Pessimist Productions Patreon. You can click the link below and bam, all the entertainment you need, Jack. It's like Billy w Willy Wink, you know, the chocolate factory thing. Hundreds of exclusive shows. I ain't kidding. Exclusive streams, more news. You can't go wrong. So cancel that AOL. Join the Pessimist Productions Patreon now. Don't wait, or you'll be sorry, Jack. Hey, Satan! Archangel! Asmodeus! Satanus! Lucifer! Yeah. What you about that, Paul? Before you start, I must let you know that I'm displeased with your choice to cover me. Oh, I will yeah? be contacting you later through the usual diabolical channels. Oh, no. I thought he would be pleased. I thought he would be pleased. Sorry, the what devil. was that? Did we start? I just blacked yeah, out we're for starting. a second. Don't worry. You became a, a conduit of evil for just like a moment. Oh. Um, it happens to the best Same of us. old, same old. <laughs> yeah. Not even, not as even, not as evil as Mickey or anything. So, you know, oh, Jesus. Like Satan's like a mid-tier villain on this show. Um, the devil, also known as Satan, Lucifer, Beelzebub. The Prince of Lies, Mephistopheles, he's the arch enemy of God and God's uh, baby boy, Jesus. And I guess the Holy Ghost, too. Fucking enemy of the whole tr uh, trinity. Uh, he's often seen as the manifestation of pure evil. And the Dude, bringer of destruction, right. the tempter, whatever the fuck. He can be, he can, he can defeat the Holy Ghost, but can he defeat... The goalie host, dude. Oh, shit. I don't know. Let's go play some soccer. But this is your pad. You would be the goalie host here. I don't know. Satan's in trouble really now. Weird joke. But all right. Anyway, theater mode. Let's fucking listen to. Uh, this is a fucking. Some survey says more Americans believe in Satan than in God. I don't know how that works, but uh, let's check that Back. out. We've heard how people are searching for answers and turning to faith during the mm. pandemic, but a new study reveals shocking well, information of answers, about then. what exactly Americans believe. It found about half, 51% of American adults, have a traditional biblical view of God as the all powerful, all knowing creator. By the way, pause it, TJ, pause it. I got to gloat for a second like I did on my ideology the other night. You are welcome because it was uh, people that fought in the great debate that made this number happen. So you're you're welcome for that, everybody. Yeah, but we're cringe, though. Yeah, we're cringe, cringe. Lords because oh, now so you don't have cringe. to worry about fucking religion anymore. You pieces <laughs> of shit. You ungrateful fucks. Anyway, go ahead. From 73 percent in 1991. Of those who believe in Jesus, more say he sinned than didn't, 44% to 41%, and a higher percentage believe in Satan, 56%, than believe in God. Well, what does it... Makes perfect sense. Hail Satan! Well, know you know exactly. why that is. Because bad exactly shit happens why. to people, and it's like, oh, well, what happened, Satan? Right, right. Like, yeah. like God, yeah. God, isn't, God is somebody that's supposed to bless you if you deserve it. So he's not as useful as the guy that's trying to make you do bad, right? As an excuse. So that's why Satan gets a higher belief percentage because, you know, it's easier to, it's, it's more fucking gratifying to the ego to pretend that your evil isn't your own, you know? Who is Satan? Damn. What does he look like? What does he get up to? 
Eating kids? Or yeah, people? Or? Eats people. Yeah. <laughs> Sits around. Oh, tastes good. Eats this motherfucker like a burrito. What's come, What's going on? Oh, he's got three heads, I see. Yeah, isn't yeah, this yeah, the yeah, traditional... Yeah. Um, this is like the... This is uh, like the Dante's um, Inferno yeah. Satan. He's frozen in a frozen lake, and he's got three mouths that are eternally chewing the sinners that get thrown to that deep pit of hell. Cool. Neat. Why does the devil have goat horns? This is just like various attributes given to various incarnations of Satan and where they came from. All right, cool. Um, so the horns, uh, you know, probably the most famous attribute of Satan is like a lot of depictions have him having, you know, some kind of horns. Uh, this is because uh, there's basically stolen off the pagan gods who had horns, like many Egyptian deities uh, such as Hathor, the cow-headed goddess, uh, Ball of the pagan tribes, the Hebrews. My favorite, encountered. by the way, yeah, of Ball. the demon lords. Uh, often associated with a bull. Um, there's also like the sort of like goat imagery and shit. Uh, that's like Pan, where they get the goat hooves. The the satyr, the half man, half goat. I also like I also like Pan a lot too. Uh, the bat wings, uh, that's actually more of a medieval addition to the Satan aesthetic. At the time, angels like Michael were portrayed as having feathered wings, like birds. So basically, they're like, well, so, what kind of wings would the devil so have? So Satan is like a religious humanity art project. Right. All right. Uh, feet of pan. All right. I like that. Bat wings. Medieval people are like, oh, he's got bat wings for sure. Where's the pitchfork coming? Well, Go this is a time when they all the fucking, you know, the classic depiction of an angel has nothing to do with. Like the, the depiction of angels, the modern depiction, depiction. Yeah, the yeah. modern day depiction. Yeah, has angels nothing, look like fucking abominations. They have nothing to do with what the Bible describes angels as looking like. So, hence, we, 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 watched we, the remember, we, we, we covered that in our dueling heaven and hell episodes, Sarah TJ. Yeah. You remember that? Mm -hmm. Angels right. were a fucking freak show. Yeah, angels were weird looking motherfuckers. But of course, that doesn't sell merch. So, they basically just like, they're pretty people oh. with wings. Do you agree so with they made the Satan uh, an ugly person with mean back? wings Rah, i'm satan i want you to suffer for no reason <laughs> do you agree with the medieval choice that uh the bat wing is better than like a pair of dark wing wings for satan because i don't like i think no. satan having like raven's wings or something is way cooler than like the i think it's overdone the bat wing thing you know what i mean i think yeah, it's maybe. like oh, it's like overkill that's like dracula more yeah. than satan Agreed. I, think Dracula. I am Count Dracula. Yeah, but Paul's saying, like, well, he's a fallen angel, so you expect, like, the angels have these big white wings. Like, oh, I'm an angel. So Satan has those dark fucking, like, crow feather wings or raven right. feather. Well, Satan yeah. was said to be the most beautiful of the angels, so shouldn't he be fucking hot? I, I, well, I oh, like well, what yeah. they did. Why wouldn't he be? What that? they did, Neil Gaiman did in Sandman, uh, is he basically made David Bowie the devil. Hell yeah. So, oh. I mean, like, it was something like that. How about you know his I mean? famous pitchfork? Stole that right off of Poseidon, right? The oh yeah, the trident. Okay. But of course, they're like, "Oh no, it's a pitchfork. He uses it to stab evil doers in the butt." Ah, Why well, does he stab evil bitch. doers in the butt? Shouldn't he stab like know. good people in the butt? Yeah, that's the thing that always made never made sense about Satan. It's like you go to hell, and Satan, who should be your fucking buddy, like, "Good job doing all that evil," and instead he's like, "I hate you because I'm fucking bleh, you know." Doesn't I mean, make any sense. What makes more sense for a Satan is he just wants you to be in his service endlessly. So it's like it's almost like you can never escape that, and you either just either love it or be destroyed by it. So that make more sense. The red skin is believed to uh, kind of be a depiction of the, the red dragon in uh, the Book of Revelations. Uh, it could also depict the fire of hell. Um, when Jesus mentioned uh, Gehenna, which we also learned about in the uh, Heaven and Hell episodes. Uh, it was an actual place people could go and see. Jehenna was a garbage area in the Valley of Hinnom, south of Jerusalem. The fire there burned constantly. When Jesus referred to Jehenna, where their worm does not die and the fire is not quenched, he knew people would bring this fiery image to their mind's eye. However, no matter how gruesome Satan may appear and awful and evil that exists in our world, we do uh, well to remember the catech uh, catechism uh, says the power of Satan is nonetheless not infinite. He is only a creature, powerful from the fact that he is pure spirit, but still a creature. He cannot prevent the building of God's reign. 
Okay. So at the very end, oh, by the way, I mean, Satan's not all powerful. Well, this is from a Catholic church. So yeah. they got to fucking be like, look, Satan's, a, you know, Satan's a pussy. We just got, I mean, yeah, I mean, he's, look, he's powerful. At the end of the day, I mean, like, he may be a powerful motherfucker, but like, God can still kick his ass. You know what I mean? Which makes no sense to me. It's like, so God is the all powerful, all knowing creator of the universe. Yes. He created Satan. Yes. Why not? Why does he not just, just destroy Satan? Why did he create him in the first up? place if he knew yes. that he was going to be the source of all fucking evil and wrong? And wasn't the world. part of his plan, Scotty. <laughs> wasn't part of his plan. No, it was. He, he actually admits it. Yeah. He says, yeah, I, it was, I, it was, I, it was I that yeah. separated the dark from the light, and I cre- that created good and evil. It is I. Yeah, the so Lord I mean, you know, he needs Satan. Thing. He needs Satan for now, but you know, eventually he won't. No fucking. Why does he need around. Satan? Satan I need because he's a Satanist himself. Satan is just a pawn in this motherfucking megalomaniac's game. He's clearly the fucking you know protagonist in the story. Anybody so here is another a uh, brain in their fucking head knows that from what Christians want to know. This is another who the fuck thing cares what Christians want to know. Satan's appearance. Well, they're the ones who kind of believe in this literal Satan. So, so. They're gonna tell you what Satan does not look. This like. is what Satan. First of all, the images of Satan or the devil with horns and pitchfork are inaccurate according to the Bible. We use the Bible as our authority. Then the devil looks nothing like we can imagine. His name was originally Lucifer, and he was described as a bright morning star. Satan was the greatest of all God's creation, the greatest of all the angels, and the most powerful being that God has ever created, including any human being ever made. When he was created by God, there was nothing like him in the entire universe and in all God's creation. Cool. Wow. Sounds like God should have uh, not made that. I don't know. I mean, not well. Like, if he did make that, why did he imbue it with the will to defy him? Because I don't know. As I understand, free will, angels, Paul. Free every, will. Other, every other angel did not have free will, though. That's like explained in the Bible. Like angels existed only to praise God's holy name 24 7 and to do his bidding. But for some reason, um, fucking Satan comes along and he's got all this fucking piss and vinegar in him because God got a little too fucking, he made something too beautiful and too perfect and too close to him. And that was Satan's sin. Going right, like, why, why do I got to serve? This is what they say Satan looks like. So Satan is a cherub angel. What do cherubs look like? If you could actually see an angel, they would frighten you. They are not the chubby little angelic and winged baby looking creatures you see pictured so often. In fact, not all angels have wings. But a cherub, in particular Satan, could be enormous in size, power, and strength. However, Satan is likely the most powerful of all the beings that God ever created in the universe. Some angels had wingspans of eight feet long, and under each of the four wings, there were what looked like the hands of a man. Ezekiel 10. They they look like fucking freaks. Satan is probably no exception. The angel Ezekiel saw not only had four wings, but they had four faces. Imagine how frightened, frightened Ezekiel was. When he was recording this, yeah, when he was fucking making it up. Yeah, man. when he was writing it down. What, what, what did I see <laughs> uh, next? Let's see. Oh, four and heads. Had, uh, four, four heads. Oh, my God, guys. Four, four heads. wings and, uh, yeah. you know. Four and, heads, four faces. Oh, my God. When it spoke, great plumes of I fire love these came out of its mouth. And, Don't you love how they act like he's got a fucking, oh, what do we have, a stone tablet? He's fucking dude, head chipping this shit in. How much do you want to bet that a lot of these fucking holy books as they're presented in the Bible, like Ezekiel or whatever, they trimmed out the beginning part where like, and lo, Ezekiel did come upon the blue mushrooms in the forest, and lo, did he eat of them. And then, <laughs> you know, and then all this yeah. shit happens, right? You know what I mean? Well, of course, yeah. It sounds like a fucking DMT trip to me. Yeah, or a D&D game. Yeah. Uh, he's a great beast. I want to cast the level, f- you know, whatever. Um, <laughs> Satan you looks at you like you shake yourself. <laughs> Satan's pissed. Look at him. He's so fucking mad. He's like, God damn it. I'm stuck no, in this I, fucking frozen lake. I like this shit, though. Satan's brooding here. He's like, Satan's oh. just like, ugh. He's mad fuck as fuck. Next. Well, this is once again a depiction of the fucking, you know, Paradise yeah, Lost. Uh, you don't like it. Or not Paradise Lost, fucking, what is it? Dante's Inferno. Dante's Inferno. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's frozen in the lake, and you can see there are people all around trying to hide from him, because when they catch him, he stuffs them into one of his three mouths and just has to chew him, and he's just bored as fuck down there. He's fucking so see, this bored. Is bullshit. Like, it. This is a bullshit depiction of Satan. I, I hate this depiction of Satan, because it's just such, it's such horse shit that he would be bound down there and like uh, reduced to just an object of torture. Like, nah, dude. Satan 
right? And then how is he fucking influencing shit up on the uh, surface, eh? If he's down hey, here frozen in a lake, eh? Hey. Uh, in Christianity, the devil is a fallen angel who rebelled against God in an attempt to become equal to or more powerful than God. Mm-hmm. And it was cast out of heaven for lies. his refusal to serve lies. man. See, there's the truth. That all these fucking lies about the devil, dude. When are they going to stop lying? He was not trying to be equal to God. He just questioned the fucking paradigm, which is like, why do we all got to suck this old wrinkly dick all day? Like, what did he do to me? I don't want to serve. Can I do my own thing? That was his sin. And look what they did to him. Yeah, you thought for yourself, <laughs> you piece of shit. So get down in the frozen lake, you fucking didn't monster. did he take uh, half of the angels with him to hell? Yeah. Like third. Well, oh, third. Said, oh. St. Michael the Archangel led the charge against him, right? And there was a big heaven celestial battle. And St. Saint Michael the Archangel, not God. A lot of people think God cast Satan out of heaven. No, no, no. St. Michael the Archangel cast yeah, that is true. Yeah, yeah. Satan out of heaven. So... So uh, most Christians believe that Satan is the pure manifestation of evil, while at the same time believing he can uh, go no further than God allows, which, of course, leads to some philosophical yeah. uh, why, problems. Why would God allow it? Yeah. Problem of evil. God is supposedly an omni- omnipresent being of pure love, yet he allows evil and destruction to exist under his ever-present eye. Um, to many, the devil's first appearance is in the Garden of Eden as in the form of a serpent, although some believe that the serpent was uh, Adam's first wife, Lilith, who is uh, not in the main text, but it's in like the uh, apocryphal, apocryphal of the, Bible. the actual Bible. Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the serpent tempts Adam and Eve into eating the fruit of the tree of uh, the knowledge of good and evil, which God forbid them to eat, thus bringing sin into the world. By the way, uh, you, know why, you know why Lilith was excised and the, the devil serpent was put in? Because Lilith wow. as a character empowered women. Yeah. As equals like to that. men. And they were just like, nope, 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 nope. You're a rib wife, bitch. It was a snake what gave the, yeah, like, <laughs> like, yeah. You would, like you would trust this fucking thing. You're roaming around oh, yeah. the garden. You're near the fucking one tree that the voice in the sky told you you couldn't eat from. And this fucking thing crawls up to you and is like, nah, the thing that created everything has lied to you. You shall not surely die. <laughs> like, what a fucking joke, man. Uh, propaganda. Me. Should I ask the fucking flamingo? So if Adam and Eve had no concept of good and evil prior to eating the fruit, how could they have known it was wrong to eat from the tree? Right. Good question. Yeah, good uh, point. Wouldn't Satan be the hero of the story since he's the one that gave Adam and Eve free will? Well, the way they get out of that is like, well, it was all part of God's plan, you know? Right. But God God's plan a, includes God plan punishing and Satan. scourging yeah. mankind with sickness, disease, death, and fucking murder for the rest of time. Yeah, what a plan. What a it's holy all fucking beautiful plan, dude. Yeah, what a wonderful God. I can see why Christians worship so fucking avidly at the feet of this God who created a giant meat grinder for us all to jump in because a dumb bitch ate an apple off a tree because a fucking snake told her to. Give me a break. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's why I always go back to the the Hitchens take. Like, it's a death cult. It's just a really popular, large death cult. Right. It's yeah, it just it's just a is. way to justify all the fucking suffering in the world and blame it on something tangible. Oh no no, you're breaking out in sores and hives because Satan's fucking doing. Let, let's exercise the <laughs> demon. You know what I mean? And it, like it gives you something to point at that isn't God and lets you contextualize why in a fucking perfect world created by a perfect God that represents perfect good, you're covered in pustules and sores from head to toe. You know what I mean? Oh God, it must be the devil. Devil's just a goddamn skin. <laughs> goat for this bitch ass fucking sadistic punk ass whack ass landlord god that just fucking hovers over us all and spits comes misery out of his fucking penis hole down onto the earth and we all just have to bathe in his misery oh jizz. thank you god we <laughs> love you fuck him man fuck god give me but the he devil. loves you yeah, show me the way to the actual devil. Let me meet him face to face and I'll worship that motherfucker till the day I die. Because you know what? He opposed that sadistic piece of fucking chicken pox given motherfucking shit up there, dude. What a, what, a, what a fucking disgusting piece of shit the God of the Bible is. How anybody came to worship that jealous, avaricious piece of fucking garbage is beyond me, dude. This is the story of Job. The next appearance <laughs> Great of Satan. Great follow-up to that rant, yeah. by the way. <laughs> <I know. laughs> uh, 
Let's see what you're missing out on, Let's. You dumb fucking simp. Cut this man's dick! Show for intellectuals only. Get out, plebs! <laughs>